do we how do we justify the costs because here it is a project that we have finally undertaken which is going to cost about 15000 crore rupees which is a full scale engineering development which also includes testing and on the other hand when we take a look at the deal that has been signed between hal and uh, general uh, general uh, general electric which is a 1.5 billion dollar uh, uh, jet engine deal that has been signed between the two countries that's that's, that's you know that's, that's an enormous difference between uh, uh, the two funds that have been allocated for each of these projects uh, how how do we justify these costs See, I would say that uh, 15,000 crore for a 5.5 generation aircraft, uh, which AMCA is going to be, is not a very high cost. Exactly. The aircraft development, aircraft development is a very, very expensive proposition. And this amount is going to be much less than the development cost of uh, comparable aircraft in America or uh, any other country. So I would say, first of all, the cost is not much. And of course, uh, I will also further emphasize, which already my two participants have uh, specified, uh, have mentioned, that this is going to be a historic decision. This is going to be a historic decision. DRDO has always been pushing that DRDO should get an opportunity to choose its uh, production partner instead of forcing DRDO to go only and only for one uh, company. So now this uh, time has come, and this was this is something not new. We have been pushing it for past almost one and a half decades for many other things. Now it has happened. Already there is a model which yeah. has been working. We tried the model with uh, AT AGS. There are two private companies, two players who took technology from DRDO and went ahead and the both guns have come out in a very short time. I'm very sure because as uh, 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 Dugan Thab and uh, Rustin Thab has said that already we have developed a large number of technologies. Many of the DRDO developed technologies, they are world-class technologies there and the opportunities in the world has proven those technologies. In just a very short while, we could destroy almost 30% of our enemy's uh, assets. Okay. And without getting okay. in and, 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 and we still continue even... to, and we still have continued to unfortunately import more of those jet engines, uh, relying more on, uh, on technology of uh, foreign players, foreign countries uh, versus, uh, of course, uh, in terms of the performance that has been seen in the, during operations in the, uh, the defense systems that were indigenously produced as well as those that were imported from Russia have obviously performed as desired and uh, showcased India's defense prowess in uh, that uh, span of time. All right. On that note, I thank all of you for joining me on the telecast and sharing your views. There is some breaking development. We're getting to know that the Israeli